And welcome to vlogmas day three it is sunday um officially i'm not working today so we've got some nice things planned however there is a little bit of sickness going around at work i mentioned that yesterday and so i am on standby so there is a chance that i will end up going into work anyway i hope you are having a great time um vlogmas ended up being uploaded at 1 30 in the morning last night because of the great cookie debacle um but i hope it gave you a real giggle um we're gonna do something else creative today um i was just sat here in my living room with my son and he was sat next to me on the sofa and and uh, i'm just there's a fence that goes along a quite high it's a six foot fence or more that goes along the side of our garden which i know is a bit bizarre in the front garden but actually there's there's a public access um path that runs beside our house and in between our house and our next door neighbors um with a bus stop at the end and like a resident car park area with garages behind um and so it's for privacy it's quite a nice tall um fence and i was just watching these sweet little blue tits and robins hopping along the fence it suddenly occurred to me that normally they can get berries and things from our garden um but there's nothing there now it's all gone and they might be hungry so we're gonna have a go at making bird fat balls today the last time i did this i think i was in brownies so we're going back years and i remember using um plastic paper cups no you know what i mean you know party cups plastic party cups and um fat or suet or something like that and oats and berries and dried berries and things and I just suddenly thought that would be so much fun to do with Robin um so yeah we're gonna do that and I thought you might like to see it so I'll share what we do I've been looking at tutorials I found a few Pinterest is weirdly luxe for these it's all very peculiar ingredients and, and store-bought bird seed I'm not gonna buy store-bought bird seed um because as we've already ascertained i'm not going to a supermarket again until 2024 uh, <laughs> but um but i've got oats and i've got some cashew nuts and i've got dried fruits uh and i actually happen to have lard and suet in the fridge from when i made jam roly poly a little while ago i'm enjoying cooking again now we've moved and baking so yeah i thought we'd try that um and we're also going off to um, my in-laws this morning to decorate the tree and have mulled wine and just a cosy day at home. So yeah, that's the plan for today. Um, I've also got a little review for you of some books uh, that Robin and I have got for Christmas. Um, so I thought we might do a little bit of that as well, depending on what happens. If I end up at work, we'll definitely do the book review and I'll pop in and do that later. And if um we end up with that cozy day at home then um this afternoon we'll make the bird balls and i'll show you that how to do that so yeah hopefully that gives you something else um robin is still adamant that his uh stocking for his garland of socks his sock advent calendar are stockings and that um the coins are treasure maps until you open the coin <laughs> Um, so that's really cute. So yeah, I'm a bit knackered because I didn't get to bed till gone 1am. Didn't watch any vlogmases last night. And yeah, so I'm just going to sit here with a little bit of knitting and take you along for our day. Hope you have a really lovely day, whatever you're doing. Loads of places have snow. We've just got wet. Yeah, it's just raining here. Apparently it doesn't really snow here much in Torquay. Um, yeah, so... 
never mind never mind we might get some snow maybe in the new year but um yeah it's still feeling it's still feeling cozy all right i'll see you soon <laughs> later in the evening now it's coming up for seven o'clock um bobbin has just done his book advent and is curled up curling up with daddy to enjoy his storybook and go to bed i'm going to be editing this vlogmas while daddy's doing bedtime tonight so we have had the most lovely day as you'll have seen Um, went around to my in-laws um 
who declared the biscuits were absolutely fine. <laughs> they weren't as bad as, as they looked, or you know, as I thought they might be. Um, it was, and the Batman ones went down particularly well, I, I have to say. So, stars, you're overrated. <laughs> um, yeah. So, you know, kind of sim similar, symbol of hope in the night sky. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so we had a really lovely time. We drank mulled wine and Robin helped decorate my in-laws Christmas tree. Uh, I was really impressed actually because I'm slightly like anxious about how the tree is going to be done. I really want Robin to just do ours and I will leave it as is I think, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> we'll find out on Tuesday. Um, but yeah, he had a wonderful time hanging decorations and knowing how much he likes the keyboard and Christmas carols, um, Popper had bought him a piano book, a piano Christmas carols playing book thing, um, which was great. And then Robin went for a nap and we tried to watch a Christmas movie, but we couldn't find one that we all agreed on. Um, and the ones that we did agree on, you had to pay to view them and we're not doing that. So we ended up watching Dungeons and Dragons, which was awesome. I really liked it. Um, don't think it got across the sheer scale of imagination that comes with playing Dungeons and Dragons. But as someone who has played it, um, I guess I can appreciate that. But I mean, it was a really good film. The storyline was really good. Robin was quite taken with the dragon because, of course, he woke up about an hour and a half into the film. I just thought it was really clever. Um, and there were lots of you could almost see how it would work as a game with just like a roll of the dice, just a, a chance something happening. Everything slots into place. Like you can almost imagine them going, oh, you know, why don't you roll for insight and things like that. So, um, yeah, loved it. Really, really enjoyed that film. And I'll be sharing more of my Christmas film experiences with you over Vlogmas. So we had a really lovely, cosy time. Um, we didn't get home in time to do bird feeders, but my we did a family pizza night. My husband has a token advent calendar that I made here, which is a mix of a couple of treats that I have bought um, and things, fun things for us to do this advent. And one of them was a pizza night. He pulled that yesterday. And so today we made pizzas together and that was really good fun as well. So yeah, um, while at my in-laws, I finished day 12. I'm pretty sure it's day 12 actually, which means I'm onto the decreases. So I'll be careful because I finished it part way through a round. I think it's 12. I'm not going to count now and waste your time. Um, so of the habitation throw. And I had yarn with me to wind with the intent. I thought it was chunky. Turns out it's sport weight and it's 300 metres. So it took me most of the film to wind it. And I have started a cheeky new cast on. I've started, now believe it or not, this is going to be a balaclava for Robin. So it will obviously have the neck warm a bit and I'm actually going to try and do a tab of it as well. I've got two hanks of these and this was given to me by Mina of the Knitting Expat. It's from Knit Crate and it's something she, was, she wasn't going to use. She asked if I'd like it. I was like, yes, please. It's blue. Of course I would. And little man really likes it. So this is going to be, hang on, the centre strip down the middle and you work the centre strip and then I'm going to pick up around it and knit around it. And I think, I think that's what you do. I couldn't find a balaclava pattern that I liked that actually told you the weight yarn you needed to use or even the gauge. There was a really cute one by Knitting for Olive, but obviously it only recommended its own yarn. And I wasn't able to go do enough Googling while at my in-laws to figure out what the conversions would be and whether it would work for this. So I'm winging it. And having said yesterday, I'm overwhelmed by the amount of projects I've got on the go and the things I want to make for Christmas. I've got absolutely no business casting on a new project, but what are you going to do? I did. <laughs> so yeah, um, Robin also spent a little bit of time... Um, doing his magic painting uh, you, I've got some clips and I'll put in some uh, a little bit of video of yesterday if you don't know what that is yeah. all right it is water in there you ready to do some magic painting Robin yeah 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 so here's your book watch out I was gonna pop it here for you right 
And then we've got our magic paintbrush. Okay, and this is our magic water in here. So what we do is we're gonna put our brush in the water and then let's stop. Whoa. Do you see the blue coming through? So. Wow, right, so, oh. There, right, grab the brush, dip it into the water. That's it. And now onto the page. <gasps> bear! A bear. And what colour is his coat? Colouring. Colouring. Yeah. Wow. A mouse. It is a mouse. Shall we get the brush wet again? And then, so dip the brush in the water and then let's put it on the mouse. On the mouse. That's the, there we go. There's the mouse. Oh. So I'd kind of forgotten I got rubbed in this. It, it is an advent thing, but it's not an advent calendar per se. It's an advent activity. So with magic painting, you literally just do exactly as you saw there water on a paintbrush and paint the picture and there's one for every day and I got that one from books by Nicola. Nicola is another um, Osborne independent retailer so I got his book Advent from Jane Swift who is an independent Osborne retailer and I got his Advent book and another book that I'm going to save for later in, in, in the year, what's left of it, for Robin from Nicola. I absolutely love books. Robin really loves books and I would really highly recommend these. We're on to our third night of Advent books from the Advent calendar. And we've had Cinderella, we've had the Snow Queen and tonight it's the dinosaur that lost its role. And Robin is so excited about reading these stories. Um, and it's great because where, where 24 books are chosen for you, Obviously, they're going to appeal, hopefully have a wide appeal, so there's a wide range of books, but they aren't necessarily books that we think to pick up for him or in the library and things like that. So it's lovely to be sharing those traditional fairy tales and they're really beautifully presented. They come with a cardboard case that you can put them in to keep them nice throughout the year. And when you line the spines up in order, it creates a snowman on the edge, which is really cute. The painting is amazing. It comes with a kind of blank sheet that you put behind to stop the water from your first page soaking through to the pages behind and ruining those pictures. Because, of course, with little ones, it's going to be a bit of a splish, splash, splash situation. So, yeah, I really, really like those. As for me, I'm looking forward to starting a Christmas book later. Um, I'm actually going to read one I've read before, and it was going to be one of my cosy box reads. But we never got round to doing this one. Um, the Great Christmas Knit Off. I've read it before. It's absolutely hilarious. Um, and if you fancy reading it along, I'll put a picture and the details here or down below. Um, I'm going to start reading that and sharing that. Um, I've got a few others, from a couple of by Carol Matthews. I like Carol Matthews. And there's one there by Jenny Colgan. I'm looking at the bookcase. Um, there's Christmas, Rosie Hopkins. Christmas Sweet Shop. I've read some Rosie Hopkins books. I've read The Chocolate Shop and The Sweet Shop of Dreams. This one has been on my shelf to read at Christmas for pushing eight years. So I'm actually going to read it this time. <laughs> so yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Tonight, um, I'm just going to edit this and curl up with some Vlogmases and some knitting. I'm going to wind the next colour on my advent, which is this one oh that's pretty isn't it so i'm going to wind the next color while i'm editing this and get that cast on because of course i said to you yesterday oh i'm going to finish this today and do this tomorrow and i'll have it finished by the 14th as soon as i did that it's like no nope. no no i'm not going to do that why is it that as soon as you put an obligation on something I mean, I don't know how many other people are affected like this, but it's almost as soon as I decide I'm going to do something, I'm going to make a commitment, I can't do it anymore. 
I mean, it's obviously not with everything in my life, you know, I've been happily married for uh, 11 years. I had to think about that last time, didn't we? Put a deadline on something like knitting and I immediately go and do all the other things. Anyway. So yeah, we've had a really lovely day and I hope you have too. I will see you tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow's probably going to be another short one, not much crafting content because I'm working all day. I'm working from 9.30 till finish. So if there is any crafting, it will be in the evening tonight, early morning tomorrow. So it'll probably be another short one. Um, I just want to say also thank you so much to everyone who's left a comment on my vlogmases, give them a thumbs up. I've got some new subscribers, so hi, welcome. I'm glad I've uh, you've won you over <laughs> and you feel like spending more time with me. And thank you to everyone who's left comments or messaged me privately. Uh, it's been really, really cool. I'm so thrilled that you're enjoying this as much as I am. And I hope that you are having a really good festive season so far. I can't believe it's already day three. It feels like it's going really, really fast. That said, I've got to go and get this edited and up for you to watch. So I'll see you later. Bye.